Now, poetry, dance, truth, democracy, just a few elements of a showcase coming to the La Jolla Music Society for one night only. So you're going to want to check this out. Carnival of the Animals, a political jungle inspired by one man's response to witnessing the January 6th Capitol attack. That played a big role in this, but we're going to talk more about how this was all created. And first, we want to show you this behind the scenes look at how art can guide us on a journey through a political landscape. A butterfly effect. The root cause of great migrations is self-interest. The greatest generations haven't been born yet. The butterfly moves up from south, orange like marigolds, black like the bottom of the skillet of a poor man's house, a shapeshifter since the chrysalis, caterpillar grounded, insect vulnerable, more metamorphosis than Sisyphus like the penguin or the elk or the gray whale, the monarch is hardwired to move to a different locale to mate, you feel me? Copulate in one place, birth in another, listen to- Oh, I got the chills listening to that, the butterfly, and how that impacts obviously us. We can feel what he's saying right there. Uh, we wanna dive deeper into this, the artistic process. Joining now by with us would be the associate director, creative producer, Chisa Yamaguchi, and then Summerfest music director and Synergy series co-producer. We have Inan Barnatan. Thank you both for being here with us. Uh, Chisa, I wanna start with you because we just heard a little clip of this, and uh, it's very powerful. Tell us the message that you hope comes across? Yeah, for this show, I mean, we've been in production for a few years mm -hmm. um, and January 6th becoming a new framework for our process and our grounding of this work has really led us to living into the questions and looking at democracy as one of the greatest theories that we've inherited in this country, especially as sort of the spoken word artist who really we've grounded and anchored in his language has looked at the Constitution as this aspiration for all of us. But now we're living in that moment of questioning who are, who are we now and who do we want to become and metabolizing this current moment as we're emerging from such a dramatic time right. for, for the human species with a pandemic and what is occurring right now politically in our country and how people are feeling living in their bodies in this mm. space and the significance of having Mark Bamuti Joseph as the poet and Wendy Whalen as the dancer yeah. which joined by incredible musicians as part of this festival to really incubate what could be possible for mm -hmm. us as a society and really how do we as the artists and creators be part of a greater dialogue that is affecting all of us in the hopes that the audience will join us in that collaboration, in that mm -hmm. questioning. Chisa, you describe it so beautifully. Even listening to you gives me the chills. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how you were a big part in this process and to have done this for over three years, the rehearsals, mm -hmm. and then it changed along the way as our world changed, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's interesting because the original composition for Carnival the Animals by Camille saint saëns emerged after the last pandemic, okay. but really is reflective of more of this sort of childlike interpretation of different animal sort of energies. And so for us to look 100 years later mm -hmm. into the possibility of now as an entire society, how do we embrace this moment? What does it sound like? Mm -hmm. Who do we look like? How do we pull each other forward and lean into what could be freedom for right. all of us. A lot to think about when people leave, I feel like. Uh, Inan, tell us about the Synergy Initiative there, uh, how this comes to play in all of that. The Synergy Initiative is something that I started together with Clara Wu Tsai, and we, dis we wanted to bring together music, which is my passion, I'm a musician and, <laughs> and, and, and a pianist, but uh, bring music together with other art forms. Okay. So be it dance, be it spoken word, be it jazz, uh, and uh, and how those things really interact in a meaningful way because mm -hmm. it's so you know it's it's so hard to do that it's so but when you get really incredible creators from different fields together mm -hmm. the sparks that can fly are unbelievable so and, and this is such a great example this is uh, the first time we venture into kind of a uh, more mm -hmm. of a political yeah. realm but with artists it's like life, that, right? it's our life, mm -hmm. and and yeah. you know to pretend that to pretend that we live in a in a kind of a hermetically sealed world. Right. I mean, Saint back in the 19th century knew that, uh, mm -hmm. and and kind of reflected that in his own way. We're running out of time. I hate to interrupt, but real quick, when and where and how can people attend? <laughs> uh, this. 
please. Oh, it'll be this Friday night at okay. 7.30 um, at the Baker Bomb uh, venue at the Conrad. Get please those come. tickets at the Conrad. Thank you both for being with us this morning. We'll be right back.